subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. This is Vagatika. Welcome to our YouTube channel Study with Care. But before starting the video, I request you all to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to don't miss any video. In the last video, we have started about different classification, right? But today we are going to read in details about Whitaker's five kingdom classification. So as I said earlier. If the classification process is based on almost all the criteria of an organism, then it is we considered as a natural system of classification. So we can say that Robert Whittaker's system of classification is a natural system of classification, right? So Robert Whittaker in nineteen hundred and sixty nine. He proposed a new five kingdom classification based on certain criteria. So now we'll see what are the criteria on which Robert Whittaker proposed this five kingdom classification, right? So first one is complexity of body structure. What does it mean? It means that the organism, whether it is unicellular. or multicellular he included unicellular into one group and multicellular organism into another group so next is complexity of cell structure so he he included all prokaryotic organism into one group and eukaryotic organism into other group so what is prokaryotic organism prokaryotic organism are the organism which don't have a well defined nucleus and eukaryotic organism you means true and karyon means nucleus so eukaryotic organism is the organism which do not which have a defined nucleus then his criteria was source and mode of nutrition how can they new Next was source and mode of nutrition. On the basis of nutrition, whether the organisms are autotrophs or heterotrophs or saprophytes. What is autotrophs? Autotrophs means if the organism can prepare their own food, they are known as the autotrophs. What is heterotrophs? Heterotrophs they cannot prepare the their own food. And saprophyte are the organism. which do not prepare which cannot prepare their own food and depends on the dead and decaying organic matter so he included the saprophytes into a class which is fungi we will discuss about it later then come lifestyle pattern so in lifestyle pattern he included producer whether the organisms are producer consumer and decomposer so these were all about the criteria on which the classification of robert whitaker was based on so what are the kingdoms the kingdoms are first one is monera protista plantae fungi and animalia in monera he included all the prokaryotic organism and in protista he included all the unicellular eukaryotics unicellular eukaryotic organism in plantae he included all the producers ya fir hum ye bhi keh sakte hain all the uh, autotrophs which can prepare their own food and in fungi he included he included all the saprophytes and in animalia he included all the multicellular heterotrophs right so we will discuss in details about monera now so in monera he included as i said earlier all the prokaryotic organisms so this 
kingdom is also known as kingdom of all prokaryotic organism then these these uh, monerans doesn't con do not contain a well defined nucleus so as i said earlier pro means primitive and karyon means nucleus primitive nucleus means that is it do not have a well defined nucleus so these organism do not have a well defined nucleus so it is obvious that dna will be naked and we can see in monera vacuoles are absent flagellum is single stranded that is flagellum is present which is made up of a made up of a protein that is flagellin protein then come reproduction reproduction is by asexual method asexual method includes budding fission etc but sometimes we can say that we can see that genetic recombination occurs what is genetic recombination genetic recombination is a primitive sexual reproduction which occurs in most of the bacteria next is monerans are ubiquitous ubiquitous means that is they are present everywhere here is a star mark of this sentence that means this sentence is most important right this will come in your entrance examination if your question comes that which are the important decomposers and mineralizers that then the answer will be what the answer will be monerans monerans are the important decomposers and mineralizers of the biosphere again monera are subdivided into two groups that is one is archaebacteria and the other is eubacteria archaebacteria includes ancient and primitive forms of bacteria and eubacteria are the true bacteria for example nostoc anabena etc you can see that here i start a, a word that is progenot so what is this progenot it is believed that this progenot is the ancient form of the bacteria from which this archaebacteria and eubacteria arises then the second kingdom is kingdom protista what are the major characteristics then first one is this is the kingdom of unicellular eukaryotes that means all the eukaryotes which are unicellular in cell structure they are included in protista group u u means true and karyon means nucleus so that means this organism has a true nucleus that means a definite nucleus reproduction is by both asexual and sexual method in monera we saw that reproduction is by asexual method but sometimes genetic recombination occurs but in the uh, protista the reproduction is by both asexual and sexual method flagella is present monera is divided into two subgroups but protista is divided into three subgroups what are the subgroups first one is photosynthetic protist all the all the uh, dinoflagellates or all or the class of dinophyci are included in photosynthetic protist so the second class is diatoms which include the class bacillariophyci and the third is euglenoids or euglena euglenoids uh, the example of euglenoids is a uh, fucus fucus next is we can say eutreptia u t r e t i a this one so this was all about the kingdom monera and kingdom protista in the next video we will discuss the rest three kingdom hope you like this video if you like the video please share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you